Hi, this is Arpan and in this video I will discuss about how you can implement a random forest classifier in Python. For this you would require a titanic dataset which you can download from Kaggle website like, uh, like the other videos I have uh, in Python. You, uh, you need to import some libraries and then you need to read the dataset, training and the testing dataset. You need to clean the data. You need to select some variables and uh, for the sake of purpose of simplicity and demonstration I'm just choosing few variables and then choosing X and Y and then fitting a random forest classifier and doing cross validation checking the cross validation results and uh, after that uh, fitting the random forest classifier to the training data set and then predicting for the test data set this is all what we are going to do so first of all you should download the data set uh, from the Kaggle website after you have downloaded the Kaggle uh, this uh, titanic data set you just import these libraries numpy panda as a skillearn.ensemble import random forest classifier this is uh, required for uh, performing a random forest classification in uh, python and cross validation is required for performing cross validation in python and matplotlib is required for data visualization after you have done all this thing, you would require to read the uh, data set. Uh, just you have to write pd.read underscore csv. Give the path name where you have uh, the training data set. So I have in this path. So train.csv is the file name for the training data set. And the test.csv is the name of the testing data set. Once you have given this uh, training and testing data set, you just have to clean uh, this data. Uh, what you can do is if you want to see that how this uh, training data looks like you can you can just write train dot head you can see the first few rows how this uh, it looks like you we want to predict the survival of a certain person in the titanic so whether the person was survived or not based on the class of the um, uh, class in which he was first class second class or third class and what was a he was the person was a male or a female and what was the age of the person and what is the number of siblings he had in the in the titanic uh, ship and then number of parents and children ticket ticket fear and cabin name and uh, embark so the, we have these values and uh, we want to predict the survival which is survived it is zero one zero means the person was not survived and one means it is survived so we want to correlate this information of survival of a person with the p class sex age parent the parent children number and the fear something like those so if before we begin we do uh, perform some machine learning random forest classification we need to clean the data set a little bit uh, we need uh, we have some missing values in nan and cabin age and fear for a numerical values like uh, age and fear it makes sense to for the simplicity for now we can just impute the missing values in age and fear by the median values and for the embarked we can with just uh, uh, we can just fill it with the we can fill it with some s or something like that we so now we are filling the age so train age we are uh, we are writing a function data underscore cleaning we are giving the data frame name uh, data frame as the input and we are accessing the age column of that and we are converting uh, we are changing the age column and filling it those missing values with the median values of the train uh, of the age variable variable similarly for the fear what we are doing is we are similarly for the fear also we are doing the same thing so train fear train fear dot fill na train fear dot median we are again doing the same thing and for the embarked mode we are filling it with the s fill na with the s values and for the we are imputing love for the sex we early in the initially we had male and female in the original data so we will convert the when the sex data uh, when the sex vari variable is equal to male we will impute it to zero otherwise we will impute it to one similarly for embark we are going zero one and two when the embark is s when the embark is c and when the embark is q 
so we have done a little bit of cleaning of this data set and now we are using this function data underscore cleaning giving the training data set uh, object in the in the function and then the testing data set in the this function and now we have the clean data in the in the object train in the test we are choosing some variables like sex age siblings parent children and fear for the simplicity purpose and uh, we have predictor bars now we just want to have x and y uh, x is the set of this predictor variables and then y is the target variable for so we have train and data set and we are just selecting the predictor bars and this is the list of these variables and when then we have y as the survived values which is 0 and 1 so we have now x and y we can just see the first few five rows we for the x we have sex age because we have selected these five columns now from the training data set so first five rows looks like this for this x and for the five for the y we have 0 and 1 uh, so we want to correlate whether the person is survived that is 1 or whether the person is not survived that is 0 with these five columns with these informations for in the correlating this thing we are just performing the random forest classifier and that is so simple you just have to write the random forest classifier function give the inputs some of the inputs so there are a lot of inputs you can just uh, see in the sql on um, in the website python website and uh, i'm just choosing a simple uh, max depth which is the depth of the tree and the tree depth is given as three and in, in this uh, once we have stored this object a random forest classifier in model random we need to give this uh, object in the cross validation so cross underscore validation dot cross val score we are using this method of this uh, uh, this class cross validation and then uh, we are uh, we are just giving this uh, function inside it and we are giving the x and y and we are telling that uh, we need the five fold cross validation so this uh, this complete uh, object is then stored into model random cv we can see what is the model random CV looks like and then we can see uh, what is the accuracy so model random CV dot mean the accuracy of the it was the five folds of the random forest is uh, 81 percent something like that also uh, if we are sure that the cross cross validation score is quite good for the accuracy we can then just write again the same thing like random forest classifier we have defined this thing with the same parameters because for the cross validation we have given the same parameters and this is showing that the accuracy is quite good so we will again define the same thing model random model uh, random forest classifier max depth is equal to three and then we will dot fit function we will use of this object and uh, uh, this uh, object instance uh, fit to the training data set at x and y and then we can just use this object to predict uh, for the test data set so model random dot predict function and uh, for the test and we are just uh, choosing the predictor bars because we have chosen only predictor bars for the predictions so these will be the predictions zero and one for the testing data set which for which we don't know whether the person is uh, was alive or not whether the person survived or not so this is a very uh, basic and there, it is an implementation of how you can just implement random forest classifier how you can perform the cross validation score definitely there are a lot of inputs you can give here which you can see in the help and uh, in the website but this is just an implementation so you can get uh, started with this uh, uh, this uh, random forest so if you have liked this video so uh, you would like to um, you can like this video and subscribe to this channel Thanks for watching this video.